22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. It's a number that's staggering. It's a number we talk about every video, regardless of the platform. Vets, I love you. You have a home here. You have a place here. Just know that. Somebody cares. We back the blue over here. How do you do that scab? We don't break the damn law. And finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay in there. Well, guys, today we have the Kaneko Arizona 880 Wild Boar, or the Wild Boar 880. G10 handles, uh, about a four and three quarter inch blade. <clears throat> There's Megatron hanging out right there. Uh, clip point. It's built a lot like the tracker. The steel on this thing is the, it's in the MOV category, uh, 7CR13 MOV. The blade length, like I said, is four and three quarters. Overall length is 10 and a quarter. It's five millimeters thick, so it's pretty damn thick. 56, 58 on the Rockwell hardness, and again, G10 handles. Now, this was a budget knife that D-Bad sent me. Now, you notice that we did about an eight minute, almost nine minute video. Not as long as my normal videos, and I'll tell you why. Because I can show you all you need to see in nine minutes with this knife. It is absolutely not a chopper. It can in some small increments with smaller stuff. It's a couple things. I don't, the handle's a little small for me only because I got busted up hands. Everybody else should be fine with it unless you got busted up hands. Now, I'll say this. This is a, it's serrated on the back blade which is fine with me. I don't like serrations on my blade, but on the back, I don't mind. Now, I didn't saw all the way through this thing. I could have, I just didn't want to burn up that kind of time. Serrations are razor damn sharp. The strength of this knife is it is razor sharp. You see it cut through that paper and we got off track on that paper, went to the side a little bit and it just kept blowing through. This thing out of the box is super sharp. It, the feather sticking, now this is a green stick, and I bring that up because a little later on we're going to do a, a, a more seasoned oak branch or something. But, do I like the knife? Absolutely. It, and it's a lot of fun. Look at that. It's just peeling the things off, son. Devastating cutting power right there. And so, again, $10, you cannot beat it. Now, it's got about 14 different damn names. I think Isaac the Noob may have, may have, may have named this knife. That, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting off of it. But it's razor sharp. It's built. Blade shape is reminiscent of the tops of Tracker. Okay. And I was surprised to see the thickness. It is full tank construction. It does have a place for lanyard hold out the back. Uh, and it's a glass breaker as well. Yeah. It's like a protruding uh, glass breaker with a little lanyard hole. It, the setup is really good and I'm not complaining on the handle I just need a thicker handle um, it will mess with my hand a little bit but I'll say this too this ain't the only video you're gonna see this knife in because of the sharpness because of the way to cut I've always wanted to try this style of a blade and I'm just I hadn't pulled the trigger on it from tops because their trackers are super expensive uh, conversely this one's not and I get it you know it's different materials it's different quality I get all that but I'm just talking about using this blade style I really like it we do a lot of slicing right here a lot of feather sticking and a knife had no problem now five millimeters thick is not it's not super thick it's not the preacher thick you know none of that but it's thicker than a lot of them um, and it handled right here you see you get some cuts and twist in the knife when I say it's not a chopper, it, I, don't, I just don't think it has the blade length, and that's okay. Not every knife is. This is a good, I think D-Bad said uh, he'd use it as a camp knife, a cook knife, and I could see that absolutely. Um, this thing was made, it's called the Wild Boar. Just looking it up some now. Uh, I'm from the South, and we all know, you know, how you go in and, and cut a, you know, hog hunting and all that. I can tell you this, folks. Uh, I want something a little longer in my hand than what that is right now. I know some of y'all have killed boars with pocket knives and all that bullshit. I get it. I'm just talking about for me. But, but now this thing is a tough, tough blade. Uh, like I said, the 7CR MOV or 7CR, I always get it screwed up, 7CR 13 MOV. 
um, budget steel, and it's ten dollars. Would I spend the ten dollars on it? You damn right I would. I'd buy three or four of them if nothing else but the sharpness of this blade. And uh, that uh, again, that tracker design. I've never used it. It's it's uh, it's not a Kikri, It's the tracker design. Is what it is. And you see some just little light chopping there. It really handled it well. It did fine. Um, we're going to go to a thicker stick here in a minute, and then obviously we'll do the Donnie B all day uh, drop and throw and stab test, which that clip point helped it perform very well. Y'all see that there? See the serrations on the top? And it's got them two little spikes thing. Now, one thing I may do in a video coming up, because I got to do a little video, I want to follow up on my uh, hideout and talk about some uh, clips for some smaller knives. Captain Electra has to do that. And, there you go, Scab throwing it down, son. And, I wouldn't mind taking the handles off of this and lashing it to a spear. Now, here's that seasoned piece of, uh, it's either oak or cherry, I don't know. It did not do super good on the chopping, and that's okay. Um, with a four and three quarter blade, I mean, it's just not, and it's not heavy enough. But, again, now watch this. You can start to see the stuff fly off of here, because that thing, there it goes. Y'all see them wood chips flying? I'm telling y'all, it's Kaneko, uh, and I'm going to put a picture of it on Instagram with a pertinent information, but it's the Kaneko Wild Boar Arizona 880. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put all that in the title or not, but it, just look up Wild Boar Arizona 880 if you want to get you one. I think it's worth the $10, and it handled very well, and again, if I didn't have these old busted up hands, that handle would be perfect because it's G10, it feels good. Um, the knife's easy to control. Y'all can see that. I did do a little feather sticking with it. I think that's what I'm doing there. Handled very well. Um, it doesn't have what you would call typical uh, jimping on the back or on the spine. It's got the two protrusions there. That's all I know to call them. It's almost like two guards. That's why I say it looks kind of like a Klingon knife. But you see right there that kind of bite I'm getting. And that's an older piece of wood. It really is. Knife had no problem with it. And there you know, scab's going to throw and miss. That's just part of it. It comes with a nylon sheath. Um, and it's got a Velcro strap. To It's got a pocket with a Velcro strap that you can put some other survival stuff in. It comes with a... Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess it comes with a... That ain't a leg tie. It comes with some paracord at the bottom. Here we have the Donnie B all day drop test. Very, very important test. And you can see the knife's pretty damn balanced. It really is. It dropped well every time. It threw well every time other than that that I just did. Uh, knife, again, very easy to control. I loved it. Donnie Bad, D, D Bad, my brother. Thank you very much for sending it to me. I have enjoyed it very much. And again, it's light enough that you could, I'm, I'm thinking about making a, a nylon or a kydex sheath for it, maybe like a, a scout carry type thing, because you could carry this on your belt or on your pack and never know it's there, son. Just a good little knife, good little backup or secondary knife. Well, guys, listen very closely, right, Chill, because this is the most important part. My guy Mikey says it best. Everything is going to be all right. I'm looking at the knife over there. I'm trying to balance it. Did a terrible job. Just threw it down. Listen, guys, I love you. God bless you. I'm Scab. You're not. We gone, son.